Hi, Honest Discussioner here. This is a bit of a serious video because I'm, I'm talking about my brother here, and I think he's in a, I think he's in a little bit of trouble, even though he doesn't know it. Um, I, I know for a lot of people, uh, family's very important, and it is to me, especially when you think something's harming them. Um, or they're doing harm to themselves, you really want to step in there and do whatever you can to stop it. And I don't know what to do in this case. My brother is very, very religious. Very, very religious. To illustrate exactly how religious, uh, about a year and a half ago, maybe two years, I had to let him know that dinosaur bones are actually bones they took from the earth and not plaster case, you know, molds that scientists made just to guess what life should have been like. Uh, the billions of years ago that he didn't think existed and still doesn't think existed. So, yes, I had, that's, that's how um, removed he was from things like science, even though he's in a regular high school. Uh, and that's how indoctrinated he is into his current Pentecostal Assembly of God religion that I used to be in. Now, that by itself bothered me, but there's little I can do about that. What also bothers me is that he's going to be going into a um, Christian Bible college when he graduates from high school, which is not going to give him a really great education. College is supposed to be even, forget the classes, it's supposed to be about diversity and, and learning to deal with people, not, you know, further isolating yourself into more of what you've known your entire life. Um, that's really just not a good idea. Um, still nothing I can do about that. Um, his father's the one that's going to be paying for it, and his father's the one that's been indoctrinating him his entire life into this, and who, who basically has said he won't pay for any other school except for a Bible college, and my brother's fine with this. Now, what happened recently is that I found out that he is going to be giving all of his Christmas funds, every all of the gifts his um, mother and father were going to give him, he's instead asking for money, and all of that money he's going to donate to the church. All of it. Now, this, when I first heard this, the first thought that ran through my mind was that that's a very admirable thing to do. I might not agree with the cause, but the fact that he's willing to sacrifice all of that is admirable, and in a way it still is, but I'm afraid, very afraid, that this is a result of some serious brainwashing here. And I don't like it. Now, I did a, a video a while back uh, about my experiences going back to the church for the Mother's Day sermon. It was a, basically a Mother's Day gift to my mother and grandmother to go to church with them. And the sermon sounded a bit strange. The, um, for example, the the wife, since it was Mother's Day, did a sermon talking about how uh, they needed just some specific amount of money for for something. I forget what it was. Um, maybe it maybe it was for a missions trip or um, to start up a church or something like that. And luckily for them, their basement flooded, and the insurance payout to fix the damage was the exact amount they needed. Praise Jesus. Um, and everyone was very impressed with that, although I thought if they used that money for the missions trip or to fix the church or whatever it was, uh, what money did they use to fix the basement? Because won't it flood again as soon as the as soon as it rains again? I mean, they needed to fix the pump specifically. So something about that didn't really jive. And also, when I was there, the pastor was going up, and his beginning sermon was basically all about how they need to give more money. He said that not just the tithes, the tithes is the 10% that Christians are supposed to give of their, of their um, net salary, I think. Um, so not only that, but he was encouraging everyone. He put on, uh, up on a board how every single other church in the area had apparently donated more money than they had, and that they really needed to, you know, buckle up and give more and more money. This all while he is driving a very uh, expensive, very large SUV and lives in a very large home, which I find somewhat contradictory, because if he really needed all that money, I, I'm pretty sure he can buy a nice truck for $3,000 uh, 
that will run, uh, that will do what he needs it to do. So that was the first clue. And also I remember back when I was in that church, before this pastor was there, and I was in Sunday school, which was known as Super Church. Uh, in Super Church, they had a game for collecting the uh, money. I don't think they use this game anymore, but basically they divided the room up into two halves uh, when they were going to collect the money, and they each let the leader. And the one leader uh, would collect all of their money for their one side, and the other leader would collect the, the money for their side. Whichever leader had the most money got to throw a pie, a whipped cream pie, in the face of the other leader. And I specifically remember giving at least five of my own dollars, and, you know, mind you, when you're eight, that's a lot of money. In fact, it was all of my money, uh, just to throw a pie in someone's face when I was the leader. And everyone else, of course, broke their banks to do so as well, because, you know, you wanted to win. Don't know exactly how biblical this strategy was for doing it. My mother at the time actually didn't like it, and um, which is kind of creepy, because it means she was right about something. Anyway, the issue here is that I'm seeing the possibility that this is a bit of a brainwashing among the among the youth to uh, and and the congregation itself to donate as much money as possible so that and this is specifically now to the missionaries so that they can go out and get more people to donate more money to them. Uh, I understand that some are doing it, uh, maybe a lot of people are doing it because they want to, you know, spread the gospel message and save souls, but it also seems like they're kind of in it for the money. When the pastor is saying they really need to spread the word of God and is in a very large home and not, you know, in poverty as Jesus would be, I find this to be very, very hypocritical. And that aside, I'm really worried about my brother. He's giving all of his time, all of his energy, all of his money to the church now. And he's still only in high school. And I don't know what to do about it. I, I Something has to be done. I'm imagining walking into the church and calling the pastor out on this. I also can talk to my brother about how he can't ask my grandmom for, you know, $20 to go take his girlfriend out to the movie after he donated all of his allowance to the church because that's supposed to be a sacrifice as my girlfriend sort of illustrated uh, if if I give you 50 if I give a charity $50 and then ask my parents for $50 that's not really giving to charity is it so I, I don't I think he he might even be getting a high off of sacrificing all of this and that the kids are getting a high because apparently all a lot of them are doing this this isn't just him you could say this is the spirit of the Lord working but Maybe the Spirit of the Lord can find more money from places besides my entire brother's Christmas funds and, and everything. I'm just afraid he's getting way too deep into this and he's going to give up everything and get nothing in return in the end. And this isn't even about religion right now. This is just about... It's about people taking my brother for a ride and brainwashing him. And not to believe in God, but brainwashing him to give them all their money. I'd give, I'd give them all of his money. He's a good kid. He really is. I love him a lot. He means well. I can't stand to see him do all this stuff. Give me your thoughts, guys. What do you think? Have a nice day. That's discussion here.